My name is Michael McChesney. I'm a consultant surgeon and the colorectal pathway director for London Cancer at the UCH Cancer Collaborative. I work with GPs and hospitals across North and East London to improve the outcome of patients with bowel cancer. Hello, my name is Imogen Staverley. I'm a GP in Kentish Town and the Cancer Clinical Lead for the Borough of Camden. Uh, my name's Ed Seward. I'm a consultant gastroenterologist at UCLH. Uh, and what that means is I see patients with bowel symptoms, uh, not only in clinic, but I also do endoscopic procedures. So that means I'm putting cameras down into people's tummies, through their mouths, or up the other end into their lower bowels. Colorectal cancer is also known as bowel cancer and affects over 40,000 people a year in the United Kingdom. It's the fourth most common cancer, but the second largest cancer killer. If it is detected early, more than nine out of 10 people survive five years and more, but too often in our country, people are detected late and have a poor outcome. We want more people to be diagnosed early and to survive which is why London Cancer is part of the National Cancer Vanguard, spearheading a QFIT pilot study here in London. What a QFIT test is, is a test done on a patient's poo, looking for the presence of blood. It's a very sensitive test, and we know that if there's no blood seen uh, on the QFIT test, then this effectively rules out the possibility of bowel cancer. The pilot is being run in North Central, North East London and West Essex. There are 33 general practices and six NHS trusts involved. The study is based on two smaller trials published from Scotland, which indicate that patients who have a negative QFIT test do not have bowel cancer. We are asking patients who are being referred urgently for colonoscopy to provide a QFIT test from home. We will then compare the results and check that the QFIT test predicts the outcome of the colonoscopy. If the pilot reproduces the results found in Scotland, it will allow us to use the test to rule out bowel cancer in symptomatic patients in England. This may stem the increasing demand for colonoscopy, which is putting great pressure on resources and should transform the way we are diagnosing patients with cancer in England. Usually when my patients come and see me with a in change in bowel habits such as diarrhoea or constipation or maybe blood in their stool, I have to refer them up to the hospital for a colonoscopy. This is a really good test but it is quite invasive for the patient. During the pilot, we will still do that referral, but we will also give patients a really simple poo test to take home with them and send off to the lab. This will allow our researchers to look at the, um, the two different tests, the QFIT and the colonoscopy, and just double check that the QFIT is as accurate as the colonoscopy. The hope is that it will be, and it will mean in the future, my patients won't have to have a colonoscopy. They'll just have this simple poo test that they can do at home. It's a big issue with endoscopy capacity in the UK at the moment. Um, a recent CIUK study has demonstrated that over the next five years, we anticipate a 44% increase in the amount of endoscopy work that needs to be done. And this is a in the setting of large savings that the NHS has to achieve over the same time period. Now what we know in colonoscopy is that we do a lot of tests that come out as being completely normal. And indeed, on the two-week wait, um, colonoscopy uh, service uh, where we're doing colonoscopies uh, to try and rule out bowel cancer, the cancer pickup is only 4%. We do have data now that a QFIT test uh, can be used prior to a colonoscopy and essentially this can rule out bowel cancer. Then what we would hope to do is roll QFIT out to the primary care population so that when a patient goes to see their GP, uh, with bowel symptoms. The GP can do a QFIT test. If that can exclude the presence of blood, then they don't necessarily need then to be referred on for a colonoscopy. This means that we can concentrate our valuable colonoscopy resource on patients that really need it. And that, of course, will bring huge benefits uh, to the NHS 
overall. So when a patient comes to me with symptoms that make me worry about either colorectal or bowel cancer, I'm going to give them the QFIT pilot test pack. I'm also going to give them this form, which I'm going to get from my computer system. Self -pop it will self-populate, so it's going to be really easy for me to print out. And I just need to select which hospital I'm going to be referring the patient to and give them the form along with the pack. In their pack, they will get a QFIT pilot information leaflet. It will help inform them as to whether they want to take part in the pilot or not, and also how to fill out the test. There's an actual sort of lovely diagram um, set of instructions um, on how to do the test. In the pack, they'll also get their test, which, as you can see, a bit like a mascara, really. Pop it back in, very easy to use. And they will send that, along with the form that the GP gave them, back to the lab for testing. Neither the GP nor the patient will get the results of these tests because it's not going to change their management. They're also going to have the colonoscopy as they would usually do, um, and so it's just not needed. But in the future, if this test is proven to be effective, um, it will be a GP test that GPs can use and get the results back for patients, and it may well then stop them having to have a colonoscopy, which is going to make things much easier for the patient and quicker to get results. And this is what vanguards are here to do, to identify and test new ways of doing things so they can be spread out across the